Hello there guys and welcome to Frequently Asked Questions on a Minecraft Character. Now the first one is how do you modify the pivot point on a Mac keyboard or the PC keyboard. So you want to click insert on a PC keyboard or home on the Mac keyboard to modify your pivot. And then you can move it wherever you want. Now to snap it, you can see there's magnets up at the top on the toolbar and a magnet with a little ball is a vertex point snap and you can hold down V as well to vertex point snap as you can see and if you click one of the arrows and then hold down V and then do hold down your middle mouse and just shake it a bit around the vertex it'll snap to it like that and again you can do that by clicking the magnet up at top okay so the next problem is the UV texture editor now remember to go into viewport 2.0 and on your material the filter type to be off okay so now go to edit UVs and you want to go to UV texture editor and now in image you want to display unfiltered and you want to use image ratio and now hold down right mouse to select UV and then hold down control and right mouse to go to shell and now you can see you can move it by clicking W you can rotate it by clicking E and R to scale, yeah, exactly like in Maya. And you can slit, you know, the UVs and just move them. You can scale them and rotate them and all that lot. So now if you go to image and pixel snap and click on a little box next to it and click snap to corner. If you zoom in real close, you can see it snap into the pixels. And this will ensure that you don't have the actual UVs going into it different texture and as you can see Fred is just moving it right to the very end okay so now if you go to edge and click on an edge then click the scissors tool and then go to UV and then hold on control and right mouse click to shell it'll select the shell that you've just cut and remember to turn off pixel snap or I'll end up doing what happened with Fred there and I'll do the same with this and then you can go to select and select shell if you want to do it that way click this edge and click the solo move tool to combine them together Okay, and that's it. Okay, so this is a render rendering one, and the preset is going to change it to HD seven twenty pixels. And in a perspective view render, you can see it's got this white thing through its ch chin, and white stuff on bottom of his arms and legs yeah so he's gonna go to windows setting preferences plugin manager and find Maya to MR which is Maya to mental ray and before he does anything else he's gonna load them then put the renderer back to default and click 6 to show the material and I can render using mental ray in your rendering settings and the reason why I switched it back to default was because sometimes it can crash if you're still in a viewport 2.0 now you can see in mental ray it looks a lot better there's none of that white stuff but you're still gonna change some more things so rendering options you want to get rid of default light and you want to go to create cameras and camera and on panels perspective and camera 1 now if you click this icon here and here 
you can see where the camera is going to be facing and why it's going to show in a render okay so it's just fixing it up <coughs> and now if you go to rendering tab you can create a light and you want a directional light and if you go into your rendering view and if you click the clipboard tab and go to perspective and highlight and drag it renders it there for you and now if you change the intensity on a directional light down to 0.5 you can see it adds a bit more colour to the character it's not as white so now you want to enable ray trace shadows and then again it's just rendering it again so now he's going to go to rotate tool and make sure it's in the local settings or rotate mode local and he's just going to rotate the light and you can change the colour of the light like to yellow, to red, to blue, whatever that's up to you so in the rendering settings it's going to go to quality and the preset's going to be the preset was going to be production yep and you want to turn off sample lock and turn on jitter and he's just gonna render it again and I saved image as a PNG or a IFF and that will enable transparency so you can go into Photoshop and do this. So here's just changing colour of a background. And I think next to use a gradient tool. I don't know what it's called. I don't know a lot about Photoshop. But yeah, it's called a gradient tool. And he's just gonna create a new layer and he's going to draw this arrow and then he's going to go to uh, the drop down menu and turn it to soft light and I don't know how he rotated it but he rotated it or flipped it whatever and he's going to lower the opacity to 75% I think that's it so thanks for watching guys please subscribe and please like and this was made because loads of people are asking the same questions for the minecraft character so just watch this and it'll help thanks